my name is Lorraine Garvey of District 32 and I'm absolutely delighted to be having a conversation today with Jennifer McMahon of Modern People Global. How are you Jennifer? Oh very well, how are you? I'm really well thank you. So Jennifer you are an extremely busy lady, you are the co-founder of um, Modern People People Global. I love your title in there, Chief Purpose Officer, but you're also a highly sought after keynote speaker and you are out there spreading your love, right, <laughs> around your um, your own passion. Tell us a little bit about Modern People Global. What is it? What do you do for people and why are you so passionate about it? Sure, sure. Well, our purpose at Modern People is to humanise the new world of work. And what that means is, is that we bring that the heart back into the commercial and the corporate model. We use a blend of higher consciousness, ancient philosophy with science. We use the latest research from people like MIT, a lot of the thought leaders and founders at Harvard. Um, And we bring that into the commercial model and we look at how organisations who are purpose-led have thrived over the last decade and what what are the ingredients that that they use and what is that recipe that they have um, for that to, to come to life. And so we bring those three areas together and um, and that is our approach to everything that we do. Which is, you know, it's refreshing in the modern um, world that we are looking at people as people, you know, and, and um, I love the word humanising. Right. Um, as AI takes over and chat GPT comes by storm, we still got to look at, you know, the human element of the business. Absolutely. And we use a lot of AI in our business um, mm. ourselves. We love tech. You know, we we um, as part of our social impact initiatives, we um, we sponsor startups. We have an innovation community, which we champion. We've actually got a, another night on Tuesday. So we love tech and innovation. But behind every piece of tech is still a human being and those human beings have emotions and they have wants and needs and passions and they have feelings and to to say that that exists independently of their work is really a mindset of of the past and so we want to bring that humanity back into everything that we're doing you know what is it that lights you up what is it that brings you joy and what really brings us joy and fulfillment as we know is that contribution and that service to to humanity and the planet how do you feel what do you feel is that the you know i I realize that as individuals and as individual human beings you know our world is different we all see different perspectives of the world, generally because of, you know, what's happening in our own world. So if these are our thoughts, opinions, perspectives, that's what we see out there. So I've got my opinion on the uptake of humanizing the business, you know, from my perspective. But from your perspective, when you're working in that area, do you see a massive uprising or is it a slow, steady, you know, climb with regards to people getting on board and trying to work more you know, with with people and work on culture and values and meaning. Where where do you sit on that? Yeah, there has been a planetary consciousness shift Mm. happening for uh, the past 10 years, the past decade. But what we have seen is that the pandemic and COVID has accelerated that shift because when uh, our control was taken away from us and when fear took over, uh, we went back to our core values, and that's what we do in times of, of times of uncertainty, um, ambiguity. Uh, in in those times, in those VUCA times, we we go back to our core values, and we go back to uh, what are those things that that we truly believe and that we live by, and what really matters to us. And so then people were because when you're on that that wheel, that um, that hamster wheel of of life, particularly, um, you know, if you're in a business, you're working for a business, you are, you know, you you get on that that wheel of being busy and just, you know, constantly not feeling that that time scarcity feeling. Oh, there's not enough hours in the day. Yeah. And, and yeah. It is very much a scarce mindset, you know, when when really, you know, as human beings, we are here and we are built to love and to belong and to contribute and to be of service and to feel energy and to give energy. And that is why we're here. And we, we 
everything we have, we already know it's within us, but we forget that when we're on things like the hamster wheel and when we're going from the day to day and kids and clients and and business and making, you know, enough money this month and those mm. sorts of things. They just, they hold us back from, from our true self, our higher self and our real reason for being. And so what we find is that things like the pandemic, it brings us back to to reality, but grounds us. And so now the conversations that we have, I mean, we um, we started Modern People three months before the pandemic hit. And, wow. um, and for that sort of first six to 12 months, you know, it was a, a, a lot of the conversations we had were people saying, so sorry, what is it that you do again? What? Uh, so yeah, I kind of get that. But, but so can you explain that to me again? What is it? Whereas now when we interact, you know, companies are coming to us and saying, hey, we need help with our ESG or our net positive strategy. Can you help us? Hey, we need help with strategic planning. We don't feel like we've got a process, but we don't feel like it's the best it can be. Can you help us so we can be a, a, a better business, a business which does care for people and planet? Can you help us with our strategic planning? Can you help us with our leadership? You know, we've got a few leaders that feel really stuck um, or that are, are not buying into our future vision. Can you help us to try and evolve some mindsets? And so, you know, it, now it's people are, are coming to us saying, well, okay, we've identified these gaps and these needs and we need help because, because of that planetary consciousness shift that's been happening. Jennifer, I loved how you explained that. You're very articulate and I love how you've just, you just stand behind, you know, your own beliefs and your values there and you're not afraid to say what is. Um, with regards to planetary consciousness, right? You're out there, you're saying this is what's happening, um, folks. So, and what you're saying there resonates with me at a very deep level. So thank you very much for sharing that. Um, but Jennifer, I, I love what you're saying there. And I know a lot of that is, you know, how, how do people become connected? You know, how do we become connected to the process, connected to the plan, connected to the environment, the community and the goals? So, Jennifer, I'm really, really excited. You're going to be speaking for our premium members, and that means it's a premium membership. They're owners of larger businesses. And you're going to be talking to us about net positive strategy. What is that? Please tell us a little bit about what we can expect and why is it essential that business owners get this information? Yeah, great question. Thank you, Lorraine. So net positive strategy is the next evolution of ESG. So ESG being environmental and social governance. Net positive strategy is moving us away from this reactionary mindset. You know, if you think of it, there's a lot of talk around your carbon footprint and your and reducing that footprint, getting to that net zero by 2050. And whilst that's important, and absolutely, you know, we are, are, are on that journey too, but but it's still very much a reactionary way of, of living and thinking because, you know, it's, it's around scarcity, around, okay, well, you know, we're at, at negative at the moment and so we need to get to zero. We need to catch up to get to zero. And so what we want our, our clients and the businesses that we work with to evolve to is that proactive state. So if you think of it like um, your footprint or your negative impact is your footprint and we want to evolve you to your handprint, which is your positive impact. So you in your business model, so starting in your strategic planning process, You'll look at that when you create your three-year strat plan or your annual strat plan, depending on what rhythm you have as a business. We want you to look at that and go, okay, well, what is our identity? What do we stand for? What is our purpose? What is the difference that we're making in the world? How are we doing good? And how are we creating our commercial model and our profitability matrix around doing good and being highly profitable from that? And how can we then evolve that into our strategic planning process so that we everything we do has a positive impact? rather than it being this reactionary negative impact. So it's around your planetary consciousness. It's around your people, both your internal people, your team, your employees, and externally, your customers or your clients. So it's about their experience and journey. And then going down your supply chain, looking at your supply chain. So every single value chain that you have within your business, it's looking at that from this positive impact mindset and this handprint of how are we creating value how are we adding value how we what is that equal value exchange and how are we conscious of our people and our planetary or our humanitarian and our planetary impact wow I'm very excited to hear um, that topic myself. And I'm also thinking there in the background I'm gonna have to employ this lady somehow to be at all the events. <laughs> 
Um, I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out ways that I can get you involved somewhere. I just love what you guys do. I love how you speak. I love how you present about it. And I can feel how passionate you are about everything that you're doing um, through your conversation. And I think it's just so important that people like yourself are bringing this to the highlight, you know, bring it into the limelight. Let's focus on, let's focus on good. Yes, um, absolutely. Mm. We, you know, we, we, we love that aspirational state and we love that, but we're very practical, you know, yeah. so yeah. we can be realized. I mean, for me, unless I can see it happening, unless I can personally enact it myself and do it myself in the company, then it's not real. So, yeah. you know, I, think of that well if I feel like that then surely other business owners must feel like that as well because it's all well and good to have these great inspirational um, taglines and these visions and these goals but if we can't actually do that and your people can't connect to it and say yeah. yes every day I come to work and I do this and I know that the greater impact of this is that and and they can actually quantify it then they're never going to connect to it you know th th we yeah. get asked by owners all the time you know Jen how do we get our people to buy in to this strategy or buy into our vision and the only way you can do that is when they can connect themselves their own values their purpose their heart with that greater impact. and that's what net, net positive strategy allows you to do wow Jennifer thank you very much I'm very excited to hear you present and I'm looking forward to getting involved with you guys at some some level or other wonderful thank you Jennifer. so much Thank you very much. I'll see you at the event. Thank you. Bye-bye.